everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and you like my vibe, subscribe. So y'all, this is a video I filmed last year just on a whim, and so many people were very receptive and enjoyed it, and I did too, so I decided to do it again this year. Now this is probably gonna be a long one, so I'm going to tell you, I'm known for long videos, but I'm going to warn you before we get real into it. You, you, if you thirsty, get a drink. If you're hungry, get a snack because th this going to take a minute. Okay. So I'm excited to film this. I'm excited to count. This is my year end empties for 2022. So what I did I kept everything I use up from Bath and Body Works and everything I use up from Victoria's Secret. And as I was going through my bags, I kept, I I have a few other missed and items. So I'm gonna just throw that in too. But I'm gonna start with, of course, Bath and Body Works. Y'all, I, I think I'm gonna start with the mist. We're just gonna start with the mist, okay? So, this is Bahamas Passion Fruit and Banana Flower. I had this in a mini. I also finished the cream in this. And I enjoyed it. Let me smell it again. Yeah, it's fun. It's fruity. It's candy-like. It's one I don't need the full set of in because I got tired of it. But it is one I would repurchase in the travel size spray. Another one I finished up is Fiji Sunshine Guavatini. Yeah, this is fun, fruity. Again, I don't need a full size in, in this fragrance smith. I enjoyed it. Would I repurchase it this summer? Because these two tend to come back um, a lot. I don't think so. I don't think I would repurchase these for this summer. I, I haven't missed them. So, But I did enjoy them while I had them. All right, I finished a uh, pumpkin apple. Now I predominantly use this as a room spray. Now I did wear it on my body too, but predominantly it was a room spray. Would I repurchase pumpkin apple? At this time, I'm gonna say no. It's a nice apple scent. It's a warm kind of apple, a little bit of a candle scent, just a little bit to me, but it is nice, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna miss this. If you know if they brought it back next fall, I wouldn't be like, oh my goodness, pumpkin apple. I would not be like that. <laughs> so, but it was nice, pumpkin apple. I finished white coconut and caramel. This was a good one, very strong. I woo, if you po tent, okay. This was a caramel coconut white chocolate caramel candy scent once it settled on my skin enjoyed it at first i thought i would want to get more but i that was so strong and when i was using it i liked it it was good but i'm i haven't missed it so if i if they brought that one back next fall i would probably get a mini i get a mini if they decide to bring it back in full size because it only came in the mini this year i would I would get another mini of that because it is a good one. I finished a hot cocoa and cream in a mini. Y'all, this is so good. Hot chocolate, perfection. Love it. Wish they had brought it back this year. Finished the Merry Cookie in the uh, travel size spray. Y'all know this is good. It smells like Christmas cookies, but better. Yeah, so that was good. Um, I did repurchase the one they brought back for this year just because... I don't even know why I did it. Because <laughs> Merry Cookie usually does smell to me just a little bit better than Christmas Cookie. So that's why I did it. I did purchase the one from this year. So those, oh, I got one more mini mist. And this is in Butterfly, y'all. This is pretty. It's, it's great for spring. Very feminine. Um, yeah, I, I bought a full-size bottle. Thoroughly enjoyed it. And I finished up a butterfly cream, as I said, the Bahamas. 
passion fruit cream, the sunshine guavatini cream, and the hot cocoa and cream. So I had matching creams to all of the ones that came with a matching cream, finished all of those. Whew, okay, on to the full size. I finished the rose champagne. I remember thoroughly enjoying this. Yes, it's just, I am not one that usually, I don't love the ro the champagne um, fragrances. I don't love them. This is one I absolutely fell in love with for some reason. Very pretty, very pink, very bubbly, but very soft, soft but potent. I really enjoyed this. And I finished an entire set of it. I finished the mist, the body cream, and the shower gel. Loved it, absolutely loved it. All right, I also finished Malibu Heat. Y'all know I love this. I was sad when it was gone. Ooh. Sexy Pineapple Hot Girl Miami Party in a Bottle. They need to bring this back. Malibu Heat. Finished the mist and the matching cream. Love it. Love it. I also finished in the stars. I, I remember I finished this because the cream was going bad. You can still get this at Bath and Body Works. Y'all know about in the stars. Woody. Uh, cologne. Not woody. Kind of unisex scent. Very nice. Love this packaging. In, in the stars, I finished the matching body cream the scrub and the shower gel so an entire set this packaging always drew me in when i, I remember when this came out i saw this packaging i was like oh. so i'm gonna miss it the new packaging is still nice but this is just glitz in your face love it all right i also finished up this rose fragrance mist y'all this was oh this was a minute ago. This was four, five, maybe six years ago. This, it still smell good. It's a rose perfumey scent. It reminds me of the rose that they have now at Bath and Body Works. Very pretty. I remember my friend at work, when I was working at this place, she, this was her scent. She loved it. She put the lotion on every morning when she got to work. She kept it at her desk. Love this. Love it. I finished Sweater Weather. Y'all, Sweater Weather was good. This is one that comes back every year. It's an outdoorsy apple cologne scent that is nice, but it's one that I came to realize I did not need a full size of. So if I ever missed it, I would get the mini set and I finished the mist and the body cream. I also finished Boardwalk Taffy. I have one more of these left. The OG. Oh, it smells so good. Y'all know about that Boardwalk Taffy life. It smells, it, it smells sugary, sweet, fluffy, um, a little fruity. It's just perfection. Perfection. And I finished an entire set. The mist, the body cream, and the shower gel absolutely love it hate that i'm on my last set in that packaging you know the original but you know you got to use your stuff if you don't want it to go bad and you know it's gonna leave one day so i also finished confetti day dream this was nice what surprise this is my sister-in-law's favorite this is the one she called me and was like what can i get that's comparable to this and it's nice, but it's not anything that just grabbed me. It, it's a fresh kind of fruity, powdery scent that it was nice. And I do have one more left in that packaging I love. And I did enjoy wearing it, but it's not one that after I use up that, that I think I would repurchase again. But it was nice. Love the packaging. This, I finished the fragrance mist, body cream, and the shower gel. So a full set of Confetti Daydream. I also finished up Sunset Glow. Y'all know I love this. This is a cherry 
seltzer, caramel, floral, vanilla, perfection scent. To me, it's year round. It is so good and it is a compliment getter. In this, I finished the mist. I finished two body creams. I finished a body scrub and I finished the shower gel. So a complete set. And I am noticing over here, hold on. I finished Bahamas passion fruit banana flower in the scrub and in the shower gel. So I remember using this when I was using the mini, so I finished those two. Woo! I also finished Christmas cookies, y'all know. I was, I was using this up because the cream was going bad. That's when I fell in love with this scent because initially I was like, okay, the hype, I don't get it. It's, it's all right, but I didn't get it. But now, if you want a cookie, I can't smell it now. <sighs> okay, a little bit. If you want a cookie dough scent, if you want to smell salt and like cookies, you can't go wrong. Christmas cookies, I finished the Fine Fragrance Mist, I finished the body cream, and I finished the shower gel. So I finished an entire set of Christmas cookies. I finished Vanilla Mocha Cafe. This stood alone. I didn't have anything uh, to go with this one that I found at a semi-annual sale. Y'all know I've talked about this. I don't know how many times this fall season. This smells like the Starbucks Mocha Frappuccino. And now you can get Vanilla Mocha Martini on sale at the semi-annual sale at Bath & Body Works. It's the same thing. So if you missed out on this and you want like a sweet kind of chocolatey, uh, creamy coffee scent, then you can check out Vanilla Mocha Martini. It is available at SAS at Bath & Body Works right now. I finished Beachfront Blanket. This is one, the packaging is stunning. And they brought this back, I believe, two SASs ago. I passed on it because I was like, I don't use this a lot. But then when the cream was going bad, when did I purchase this? This was 2020. The cream was going bad and I said, oh my goodness, I'm going to have to go ahead and use this. Fell in love with it. This is just a perfect, clean, laundry, shower, fresh scent love it i finished the mist and the body cream and i could have sworn i finished the shower gel but i don't see it maybe i didn't now that's gonna drive me crazy i'm gonna have to check but yeah i finished the uh fragrance mist and the body cream and if they brought this back again i would get one more set i really would because it was i just loved it while i was using it loved it for the summertime I finished Bonfire Bash. Y'all know this is a smoky, creamy, bourbon, vanilla, woody, marshmallowy scent. I finished the Fragrance Mist and the Body Cream. So I don't need to get another set of that because I have uh, backups of that. I don't need any more Bonfire Bash. I finished Raspberry Jam Donut in the Fragrance Mist. This. I have one more full set of, and this is one I didn't deem three bottle worthy because it smelled good, but I wasn't obsessed with it. I still am not obsessed with it, but I wouldn't be mad if I had one more, if I had two backups instead of one, because it is a jammy, sweet, donut filled scent it smells really good it layers really well with raspberry perfumes and for that reason alone i kind of wouldn't mind having a backup another backup so raspberry jam donut i finished the fragrance mist i finished the body lotion and i finished the shower gel so i have one more set of that I wish if they brought that back, I wouldn't be mad at Bath and Body Works either. And I'm sure a lot of other people wouldn't because some people still missed out on it. And it's still one that's talked about on YouTube till this day, Raspberry Jam Donut. Another fragrance mist I finished is Whipped Vanilla Chiffon. I do have a backup of this. I love this. This is an airy, floral, pretty vanilla scent. 
It is perfect for the springtime. It's beautiful during that time of the year. I love this. And I, like I said, I have one more backup of it and I plan to just enjoy it and my leisure because I don't have to worry about, I think I don't have a body cream in this. I have a lotion so I can take my time and enjoy it and not worry about having to hurry up and use it because of the body cream. So yeah, whipped vanilla chiffon, a good one. I finished strawberry pound cake, y'all. I'm so sad to see this packaging go. I mean, oh my goodness, this packaging just adorbs. Y'all, yeah, we know about strawberry pound cake. It smells like a strawberry pound cake. Point blank, period. I finished the mist, I finished a body lotion, and I finished the shower gel. So I finished the entire set and entire set of strawberry pound cake. I don't need any more strawberry pound cake. I think I have one from each of the collections that they've come out with. I didn't get the collection that's at semi-evil sale now. The one that's in the all red faceted collection. It wasn't cute enough for me to get it. So I didn't get that one. But I have I have all the other ones that came out in the main collections. I don't have the faceted one. And I don't have the one that came like in a gift set. Uh, it was cute. But I never could find it. So. But I don't need any more strawberry pound cake. Oh, But I am sad to see this packaging go. Because it was just so cute. So super cute. Love it. Oh, and I also finished um, along when I was using the, these up, I used a um, strawberry pound cake body scrub in the packaging from this fall that came out. So yeah. Or was it this fall? No, last fall. Last fall. Yeah, I used uh, a body scrub. So I finished an entire set of strawberry pound cake. The last fragrance mist that I have used up from Bath and Body Works. This is Sugar Cherry Crisp. I love this. It smells like cherry cobbler, cherry pie. It's perfection to me. I love it. And I have two backups of it in my collection right now. I have one I'm getting ready to try to use because the body cream is going bad. So I have to use it up. But yeah, love me some cherry, sugar cherry crisp. I finished also in the collection, I finished the body cream and I finished the shower gel. So I finished an entire set of sugar cherry crisp. Okay, some standalones by themselves. I finished the rose quartz body cream. This was, uh, I wouldn't want this scent again it didn't move me. I, I prefer just the rose scent from Bath and Body Works. This, if I ever saw it again, I would pass on it. I found it at a semi-annual sale as it is. I finished Sweet Whiskey in the Body Cream. This is in my project, Use It Up. Um, I needed to finish it because this cream was going bad. So I haven't finished the mist yet, which kind of ticked me off. I like to have them both together, but I haven't finished the mist yet because I've been taking a break from my project. So I finished up the body cream and I already have a backup of sweet whiskey, so I'm good. I don't need another one. Um, I finished this Blooming Garden body cream. I love this. This came out, I believe, after the pandemic, the first time, well, pandemic still going on. This came out when stores were opening, beginning to open up. And this was part of a collection. They didn't have a mist at first. It's a very pretty floral scent. To me, it smells a little different, a, di a little unique. And I have, um, uh, I can't, I think I have one more cream in this and a spray. So I will be using those up pretty soon. But yeah, I love this one. Um, don't need to repurchase it or worry about it because I have a backup. I finished the Frosted Coconut Snowball Lotion. This is what made me realize I had never tried Frosted Coconut Snowball. And this was uh, the winter sass last year at Bath and Body Works for 75% off. And so I was, I'm just going to give it a try. And I fell in love with this kind of coconut. So that's why I decided to get Frosted Coconut this year because I realized I really enjoyed it based off of this lotion. So I don't need any more of that because I have a full set now. I also used up uh, 
These three, whoo, these three lotions. This is the Golden Magnolia Sun. Love this. This is when I was watching videos and they were like, for every body spray, you need two lotions. So y'all, I got one more set of each of these to use up and then they'll be out of my collection. This is so pretty. It's a very so, it's soft but potent floral scent really like it i use a pear blossom air this is a very fresh pear scent very nice for the summer and i used up violet lily sky this one is the one i always feel like it smells a little bit like nail polish remover but in the best way possible it's very unique this is the most unique out of the bunch yeah, so finished up, whoops, strip that. Finished up these three lotions. And I finished up a Y Kiki Beach Coconut Sand Body Scrub. Never want these sand scrubs again. I hate, detest, and abhor them. I really do. I don't know what this is all on this, but this is a Coco Shea Coconut uh, Body Scrub. If I saw this again, I would get it at semi-annual sale or something because it is nice but it's not one that i think of you know i also finished the coco shea coconut moisturizing body wash i do really enjoy this if i saw it again would i get it i don't know y'all because i'll tell you what the best coconut like a true coconut not the Dove coconut I'm in love with. It has that chocolatey smell. But a true coconut scent, it doesn't compare to Olay's body wash, coconut body wash. So I really don't think I get this because I love the Olay body wash more than this coconut. So yeah, I one and done, enjoyed it. Now it's time to move on, which I have. And this last item from Bath & Body Works is the Coco Shea Honey Moisturizing Body Wash. This is one I would usually say immediately, yes, yes, if I saw it, I would get it. Can I open it? Because it's a beautiful honey scent, gorgeous. Now, if I saw it for 75% off, I would get it. But it's not one I'm worried about anymore because Victor Victoria's Secret's pink honey line smells exactly like this. So it's not like I cannot get it anymore. Now, does does it feel as good as this one? No. So like I said, if I saw it again for a great price, I would get another one of these because I do love the scent. Okay, y'all. Last year, I did Bad The Body Works and Victoria's Secret together. I don't know if I can do that this year. Woo! I'm gonna try. I'm going to try, but I need to count how many products I used up from Bath and Body Works. So let me do that. Okay, y'all. So I just got finished counting. So I used up 23 mist, 19 body creams, 5 lotions, 6 scrubs, 11 shower gels, and 2 body washes, which gives me a total of 66 items I used in the year of 2022 for Bath and Body Works products. So not too shabby, not too shabby. Okay, so now I'm going to set up Victoria's Secret and we're gonna see how much I used up from Vicky. Okay, y'all, so now we're gonna talk about Vicky. So I finished up Autumn Blossom. I finished the mist and the lotion. This is one, it's nice, it's pretty, it's sweet but it, it, it's not memorable for me except the packaging if i saw it again i wouldn't get it i enjoyed it but time to move on always new things coming out i finished tropical spritz in the mist and the lotion this whole summer line it just smells it, summery it smelled casual it smelled like um snow cones a lot of these did from this collection i enjoyed it I wouldn't get it again. This is when everything was closed down in 2020. If And I was ordering things, you know, starting my channel. If I would have smelled these in store, I probably, no, I wouldn't have gotten them. I know me. But it's nice. I can barely smell them now. 
Um, but it was good while it lasted. One and done. I'm trying to keep with that collection. Let's see. I also finished Citrus Chill from that same collection in the mist and the lotion. This was the one that was very unique to me. It was very almondy, citrus almond. I really did enjoy this one. But again, one and done, citrus chill. I also finished up coconut granita in the mist and the lotion. Like I said, from this summer line, this smells like a coconut, pineapple slush or something, uh, snow cone. Nice, casual, easy wear for the summer when you're just not doing anything. You just want to smell good, but not like you're doing the most. That's what this collection reminded me of. So one and done. Finish both of those. Now, this is the one in the collection, this summer collection, that was the hit. This is Melon Sorbet. I finished the mist and the lotion. This is one. It's good. But... You know, smell it now, I'm like, should I? Well, it's not available, you know, unless I saw it at a semi-annual sale or something. Or an outlet, which I'm not going to an outlet anytime soon because I got too much stuff. But this is strawberry watermelon. And at first I was like, I like pink watermelon better from Bath & Body Works. I like pink watermelon blast out of all of them. But this is a different take because I really pick up strawberry. It's a strawberry watermelon nice scent that if I saw this again, I would get it. I wouldn't get the lotion, but I would get the mist because that strawberry is different. At first, I was like, it's not different enough from pink watermelon and pink watermelon blast, but it is because of that strawberry note. So melon sorbet, if I ever saw it again, I would get it. I'm, I'm not talking about Macari or, you know, these eBay. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if I saw it at semi-annual sale or uh, an outlet, a Victoria's Secret outlet, or if they decided to bring it back, I would repurchase this mist. Okay, I also finished up Fresh Jade in the mist and the lotion. Y'all, this is one when I first got it. This is another one. This is when everything closed down. I would not have purchased this if I could smell it. It's not bad, but it's not me. It's a very green, citrus, woody type of scent. At first when I got it, I only got like grass like very earthy but then after using it that lime does come out it's like i said it's a citrusy drift wood outdoorsy kind of scent so no this is a one and done for me fresh jade all right next i finished up toasted honey in the mist and the lotion this is one i'm um, it didn't it didn't just smell like honey because of course of course of course they had to put pear in here because what would Victoria's Secret be in Bath & Body Works be if they didn't put pear and stuff? So this is one that was a kind of fresh, fruity honey. I'm looking for a honey mist that smells exactly like the honey body wash from Bath & Body Works and Victoria's Secret. And the Victoria's Secret pink honey mist does not smell like that to me. I want to miss. It smells exactly like that. Haven't found it yet. This was nice. I did enjoy it, but it's not memorable, and I don't want it again. Finish with it. Okay, I think those were all of the ones where I finished a set. So this is Aqua Kiss. This is very popular. This is not for me. That daisy and the... This is a floral aquatic scent that it to me it doesn't mesh well doesn't blend well i don't like the way it smells on me i barely like to use it as a shower mist because i use it as a shower mist and on my body and this isn't just it's just not for me the floral and aquatic notes are not pleasing to my nose in this fragrance mist so at this point in time i have no interest in repurchasing aqua kiss Ooh, I also finished up Rule Breaker. I found this and the other fragrance mist I'm getting ready to show you at the outlet. This I do like. I will get it again. It's like a sugary, sweet, fresh scent. Like sugar powder. It's just good. I really do like this one. 
And I do, rem I miss it. I do miss it. I like wearing it on my body. Didn't last long, but I like wearing it on my body and I did like it as a shower spray too. So rule breaker. If I saw it again at an outlet and by the time I'm gonna allow myself to go, it'll, it'll probably be long gone. So if I ever saw it again, I would repurchase it though. It's a good one. This is another one I loved. This is Sweet Summer Sugar Rush No Curfew, darling. This is another one. It was just sweet, kind of cherry, kind of sugary, kind of candy-like. Not long-lasting, but it's one I did like wearing. And I would get it again if I saw it. So this is Sweet Summer. This is Fresh and Clean Vacay. This is another one. All of these, um, the ones I'm showing you right now, these are from the outlet and then I'll get back to the originals. I can't really smell this anymore. Yeah, I can't smell it anymore, y'all. That just shows you, let me see if I can get a, a tinch. Okay, this is a very, this says pink pineapple, but it's not a sweet, juicy, sugary pineapple. It's a very tart pineapple, like a tart aquatic pineapple scent. It was just okay. I didn't love this. It wasn't memorable. Um, and I wouldn't want it again. So yeah. This is another one I remember I don't I wouldn't want it again. This is Thorn to be Wild. Now this is one I believe did I get this at the outlet or the semi -A sale? I can't remember. Let me see if I can get I can't smell this one anymore. Let me see if I can get a drop to come out. Yeah, this is one that's kind of like a sweet, tart, floral scent. It smells pretty good, but I do remember being getting tired of it by the time I was finished with it. So I wouldn't want it again. Yeah, I'm good. Thorn to be wild. Now, why am I liking it? I can't stand that. But I, rem I do, it's trying to get me now. But I do remember getting tired of this. So I don't think I would want to get this one again. Now, since I'm like kind of kind of liking the way that little drop came out. You know, I call them the air drops. You don't feel anything touching your skin. But the scent comes out a little bit. I'm liking it now. So I know me. This would be one I'd be like, ooh, when I was filming that video, if I ever saw it again, I did like it. So I would test it out. But I have a strong feeling I wouldn't get it again. I believe this is a one and done. Okay, hey, also, this is a love. This is Glittering Iris. And I thought, I know I finished the lotion, so where is it? I don't know. Oh, I can't smell any of these anymore. Come on, just a little bit, help me out. I can't smell this one, but I do remember it being a sugary Iris coconut. I believe I have one of these left. This was a compliment getter when I would wear this. It just smelled like a sophisticated, not summery, not beachy coconut scent. And I loved it. And I'm happy I have one more left. And I love that packaging, Glittering Iris. I also finished Love Spell Decadent. This is, I remember, let me see if I can get a little bit to come out. This was an almond butterscotch scent. I really picked up the butterscotch. It was kind of sweet, but I wouldn't I wouldn't classify this still as a gourmand. Cause when I think gourmand, I think edible. And that blossom note, it's a, like a floral note in here that makes it not gourmand, but it was it's an interesting, unique take to me on Love Spell. So I did enjoy this. I believe I have one more of these left. Love Spell Decadent. I also finished up Vanilla Tropic. This came out this past uh, summer, last summer from uh, Victoria's Secret. And this is not my favorite. I can't smell it, y'all. Okay. This was a flor tropical, floral, beachy vanilla. It was nice, but of the two, and I'm going to show you, this one was not my favorite. But it's good. I enjoyed it. It's kind of, think of, what is that? Uh, copper coconut sands from Bath and Body Works. Think of that toned all the way down and a little bit more floral. And that's what you get with Vanilla Tropics. So 
I don't feel like I need this one. If it popped back up at, at semi-annual sale, this is one I wouldn't get. Now this one on the other hand, I finished up. This is Tropic Vanilla from Pink. I meant to mention this in my Victoria's Secret semi-annual sale recommendations video. If you haven't seen that one, I will link it above, check it out. But I am gonna talk about it here a little bit just in case. This is good. I saw the lotion online. If I saw the mist, I would get another one of these and the lotion. Let me see if I can get come out a little bit. This is the sweetest coconut tropical vanilla scent. Beachy is so good. Fluffy, airy. I love this. So if I see this at semi-annual sale, I would get it. I would get it because at first I was like, I don't know because it's not long lasting, but I would get the lotion to go with it and I would just go to town because this this smells so good. It's rare for me to use up fragrance mists the year I purchased them because I'm always doing project use it ups. But I got to use in this and just decided to go ahead and go for it because I was loving it so much. Tropic Vanilla. Love it. So the last fragrance mist I used uh, from Victoria's Secret is Tea's Glam. And this is, uh, you know, one of the fragrance mists that's part of, a, a, alongside a perfume. It's not in the regular mist line. This was a perfume and this is a mist that goes along with the perfume. From what I can smell, this is a very soft, powdery, semi-sweet scent. It was nice, but for me, it was the packaging. The packaging, let me see if I can smell the lotion better because I finished up the lotion too. Yeah, it's just very sweet. It's not very sweet. It's very soft. Some way I get like a coconut, milk, smooth, powdery vibe. This review was always hard for me to describe. <laughs> Even though it doesn't smell super complex, but it just smells, it smells soft, it smells feminine, it smells just, it's not anything where I can pick out a specific note. It kind of smells soft, clean, powdery, and a little sweet. That's what it smells like to me. So I used up the Teeth Glam in the mist, the lotion, and the perfume. And I did want to mention also, this perfume, I talked about this perfume in my recommendations video because I saw it was online for SAS right now, and I forgot I had the bottle. See, that, that should tell you something. This would only be one I would recommend if you could get this packaging for like $12 a perfume or $14 the way they do it. That would be how I would recommend it because it's nice but i just remember getting tired of it and i think i got tired of it because i realized with me i'm either for if i'm going to get the perfume i might get the lotion maybe but i know for sure i don't need to get the lotion the perfume and the mist that's too much for me that is too much of one scent for me especially if you're someone who likes to layer so yeah so i finished up an entire set of Victoria's Secret Tees Glam. Like I said, the packaging is what got me. That bottle is the bomb.com, that hot pink color. Whew, I also finished up Victoria's Secret Oso oh Party. This is a lotion I couldn't resist. Last year at the semi-annual sale, even though I knew I had the perfume, it was going to be gone in a second. This is just okay to me. It's not a scent that I love, but it is a scent I got compliments on. Also, oh, party. I don't I don't miss it. I don't want it again. This is bare vanilla la creme. I love this. I have one more lotion and mist left in it. Oh my goodness. This is just a print pretty minty vanilla scent that I love. I wish they would bring back this La Creme line. It was gorgeous. The packaging was gorgeous. The scents were beautiful. Love it. I'm glad I have a backup of it. I also finished this uh, Victoria's Secret Wicked Lotion along with the perfume. And again, I forgot I finished this and this year. And this is on, I think the lotion is online. And the lotion to me always smell just a little bit better than the perfume, y'all. 
This is a brown sugar candy sweet scent. Oh, that I always got compliments on. I even gifted this to a friend of mine. She loved it. It's good. It is. Oh, it is good. Okay. So if you see this at semi-annual sale, I would get it. I hope. Uh, the only reason why I wouldn't get it for me right now is because they bring it back a lot and I have a lot. But this is one I know I want back in my collection at some point. Just not immediately, but I do want it back at some point. Let me use up some more Victoria's Secret perfumes and then I would. I would let myself get that one again because I loved it. And every time I wore it, I got a compliment. Okay, I also finished up this Victoria's Secret XO Victoria lotion and the perfume that goes with it. This is so good. It's a floral, powdery, musky, pretty feminine scent that I would say try it out even if you don't like florals because it's just so pretty. It's so pretty and feminine, easy to wear. And this also was a compliment getter. Okay, the last lotion I finished from Victoria's Secret, this is the Oat Lotion Oatmeal plus Coconut Milk. Y'all, this smelled like oatmeal cookies. Ooh, I was hoping they'd bring it back for the sale. Like, they usually bring this one back for SAS, but they haven't. If they brought this back, if I ever saw this again, I would get it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, I finished the lotion and I finished the scrub. And they both were superb. I thoroughly enjoyed them. The last thing I finished up from Victoria's Secret is the Bombshell Satin Body Oil. I bought a bunch of these. Well, not just this scent, but a bunch of these oils. And I think I've only finished up two or three. I need to get on that. This is nice um, for layering. I don't love the original Bombshell fragrance enough to just wear it on its own but in this body oil just to layer with different feminine scents like okay let's say i was wearing um exo victoria i would layer this uh i would layer this oil along with the lotion because they work well together so yeah um if i saw any more of these oils in a in the fragrances i didn't have i would get them because i do love that it's a spray i love that about it they're not super moisturizing they're more to me for layering um to get a little extra glow a little extra moisturization along with your real moisturizer and just to layer and give you just some more fragrance to play with because the more you layer the more it's hard for you know for you not to be smelling good at the end of the day all right y'all so those were all of the products I used up from Victoria's Secret. So now let me count those and then we'll see how many products I used up from Victoria's Secret for this year. All right, y'all. So I finished 17 fragrance mists from Victoria's Secret, 13 lotions, three perfumes, one body scrub and one body oil, totaling 35 products. So, okay. I think I am going to do this last kind of let me tell you why I want to do this. These were perfumed lotions that I got in sets that, you know, I, I just wanted to use them up. They're fragrance mist from other brands. So I think I am. I just want to know in total what I used up and since I decided to keep these items. So I'm going to get the bag of those. We're going to see what I use up there and then we'll tally everything up. All right, y'all. We're almost done. Almost. So... I'm gonna start with, I think I'm gonna start with the lotions on this one um, because I have a ton of lotions. And the reason why I wanted to show this, these are not, I don't even think this is all the body creams. I'm trying to remember if I just finished a plain lotion, probably not. But I wanted to put these in here because I remember I wanted to make a concentrated effort, effort to use these up. So, Let's see what I used up. This is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. I remember I wanted to use this up because I had a larger size. Well, I ended up giving the larger size to my brother. Um, and then I have the one from Trader Joe's. And then I have Tropic Glow from Ulta, from Tree Hut. So I was like, I want to just use this one up that I got, I think, 
Did I get this for free? I think I did. Y'all know the Boom Boom Cream. It's just good, tropical, you know, warm, nutty, sweet. That's what it smells like. I'm getting tired. Can y'all tell? <laughs> so I finished the Boom Boom Cream. And then here's... I remember these lotions. I wanted to get, get these out of my collection. And, you know, just let me go ahead. I finished the Brazilian Crush Charosa 62 Spray. It also smells exactly like the Boom Boom Cream. And I already purchased a full size of this um, because I have two body butters with this scent DNA. So I went ahead and got the Big Mist. I do. This scent had to grow on me. I didn't get the hype. I still am not obsessed with it like some people, but I do like and enjoy wearing it now. So I did finish the Boom Boom Cream and the matching fragrance mist. Whoo! This was a dupe that I purchased after hearing about a dupe for the Boom Boom Cream. This is the Ulta Beauty Brazilian Sunset Mist and Lotion. I did finish these up. I don't, this did smell like the Boom Boom Cream. I believe I have a whole video comparing them. I will link it above. Check it out. But I prefer the Boom Boom Cream. And I don't really like Ulta's lotions or mist. I'm, I'm, I didn't fall in love with them. I bought these that I'm getting ready to show you here. And I just realized they're just not for me. I did finish up the um, Blooming Berries Mist and Body Lotion from Ulta. And you see that bit right there? I don't know why some of these bottles, like that Brazilian uh, Sunset Lotion, I got all of that out, but then this would not come out. But oh well, it's going. This to me smelled like, it took me back to being a tween and smelling the Raspberry Fragrance Mist from Fantasies from in Walmart. Is that what it's called? Body Fantasies from Walmart. Not a bad thing, but just not how I want to smell right now. So, one and done. This was the one I think I liked the most, but then I got tired of it. This is the Pink Sorbet Matching Mist and Lotion. And this smelled really nice. It smelled like a floral kind of sherbet scent. I got tired of it. It's something, and these lotions to me aren't good lotions and you get 10 fluid ounces. You get quite a bit of lotion, but I it, I just didn't like it. I didn't like the for, lotion formulation. The mist was just okay. You only, you got six fluid ounces of the mist and it sprayed a lot. So it felt like they were going quickly, which is a good thing. But I don't know. They're just, it just, these weren't for me. So those were all the Ulta sets. I really wanted to finish them up and I did. This, I, I don't know why I put this in here. Um. But this is a body oil from Soap and Glory called a Fruity. I know I want this again. I remember I found it at Marshalls for five bucks and was over the moon. Yes, I would love this back in my collection for the summertime. Call of Fruity is a really nice fruity um, scent from Soap and Glory. And I did really enjoy this, lotion, this body oil. Now to the lotions because none of the rest are matched so i finished the azaro wanted girl lotion mm -mm. i didn't like that lotion i don't even want to smell it i remember it didn't smell like the perfume to me it smelled off when i got it and i didn't like it this is the mon Perry lotion from ysl this did smell nice if i remember correctly yeah but it didn't moisturize well as these normally don't so, but it was, you know, I wouldn't want to, some of these you can purchase on their own. No, no, no. And this C. Fiore, I remember it didn't really smell like the perfume to me. So I finished that one up. This is the Guerlain, Mon Guerlain. Oh, this is a shower gel. Oh, so I finished the shower gel and the lotion because I'd had these for a minute and I decided to invest in the full size. This does smell nice. I don't know, with me and Mon Guerlain though, I just still feel like it's one I easily can wear. It just, I don't know. But I'm going to wear it because I paid, even on sale for the full size of that lotion and shower gel was on sale at Macy's. I decided to get it because I love layering that with the perfume. I'm wearing that because that stuff is expensive, even on sale. 
Oh, this is the C shower gel. So I finished the shower gel. I just remember I wanted to use up the shower gels that I got in gift sets and the lotions because I had so many and I was like, I got to use these. I finished up the Girl of Now um, from Ellie Saab, the lotion and the shower gel. This is your honey perfumey scent. Again, that I didn't love them enough to want to go and purchase them separately on their own. Because if y'all know, those are expensive. I finished up the Moonlight, uh, bought the lotion from Ariana Grande. It was nice. I also finished up the Ari body lotion from uh, Ariana Grande. I miss Ari. I just, I'm not going to let myself purchase it right now. And I also finished up the Burberry Her lotion. Now, this is one, y'all, if you love Burberry Her, okay, that's your scent. I would suggest getting the lotion in this. It did moisturize. It was very strongly fragranced. It smelled exactly like Burberry Her. This was a good lotion. It's hard to find good lotions that actually work when you get when you get to lotions that match perfumes but this burberry her was a good one really this was also a good one this pink sugar lotion that matches the pink sugar perfume love this lotion i got this in a set this was awesome awesome lotion um i wouldn't get it I wouldn't think to get it just right now because I just have too much stuff. But this is another one that's a good one. If you see this lotion, it is good. It does moisturize and it does smell divine. This was a lotion my mom got me. I used up mine and then she wasn't using hers. So I decided to this La La Avu or whatever it is. I'll let you see the name. She got it at Sam's or Costco or something. A set for her and me. And it was just a nice, clean smelling lotion. I enjoyed it. So, yeah. All right. So, those were all of the lotions and the perfume lotions and shower gels I used up. Now, to the body mist that I didn't have, you know, a matching lotion that I used with it. This is the Gail Heyman Delicious Warm Mixed Berry Mist, y'all. This smell, I can't smell it now, but I, I can't get, the, I remember this smelling so very delicious, okay? I would get this again. I did enjoy this. I'm not about to get it right now, but I did enjoy it. It was this and the cotton candy one. Those are the two from that little four piece set that I, I've already used up those. This I would get again. This and the um, cotton candy one, loved it. I also finished up this Sol de Janeiro Coco Cabana Charosa 39. This is the coconut scented one. And I just don't like this coconut. I don't know why. Um, you would think I would because the notes, coconut cream, warm vanilla, tropical orchard, orchid, um, creamy sandalwood, toasted praline. Like I'm smelling it now and it smells pretty good. But when I was wearing it, I remember just a plastic waxy scent. I don't know. This is one I may retry again one day, but not anytime soon. Not anytime soon. I also finished a Brazilian Crush Charosa 40. <sighs> Fragrance mist. This one, I already bought the big one of this. This smells so good. It's a floral fruity vanilla woody scent and it just smells so feminine and good to me love it i also finished the sweet light candy fragrance mist by ariana grande this is one it smells just like the perfume i did a whole review on her fragrance mist i will link it above check it out if you haven't seen it i it's something with me and these celebrity or perfume fragrance mist to me, they just, they might smell exactly like the perfume, but I would rather get the perfume because I don't feel like these last. I feel like Bath & Body Works fragrance mist lasts longer than these. I feel like um, Victoria's Secret fragrance mist lasts longer than these. 
it's a good way if you want to try out if let's say you're a teenager you don't have a lot of money or you you know you're a tween you don't have money to just go buy perfume and you get your allowance and you want to get some ariana grande fragrance mist and you want you so you see these at burlington ross or somewhere yes they're worth it for that because they do smell like the perfume and you know you just keep spraying just spray to your heart's content anytime you feel like you don't smell them but for me I don't think I, I'm with fragrance mist. I am predominantly a Bath and Body Works Victoria's Secret girl, and I just don't think that's gonna change. I mean, I've become a Charosa, um, I've sold a Janeiro fragrance mist girl, but I, I just these I don't I'm not gonna they're I don't ever I don't want to get this again because I have the perfume. I don't need the fragrance mist. Okay, last fragrance mist. This is the vanilla by from Body Fantasies. You can get this at Walmart. I can't, let me see. Oh, I can open this one. Yeah, this just smells like a good basic vanilla scent. Just a good old fashioned vanilla scent. I already, this is my second full size bottle I've used up of this, I think. And I have another one in my collection now. I see myself just constantly repurchasing this because it's just a good vanilla just to throw on when you feel like you need, you want to add some vanilla. You know, it's just a good one. I do like that. Okay, y'all. So now let me let me put y'all on pause and let me count this stuff. All right, y'all. So I finished nine fragrance mists, 14 lotions, three shower gels, and one body oil, giving a total of finishing up 27 products that I decided to keep that weren't Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret because y'all know I be finishing up stuff every month. So now it's time to add all this together and see what I finished. So give me a second, y'all. Let me do some math. All right, y'all. So in total, I finished 49 fragrance mists. Wish it would have been 50. I finished 32 lotions. I finished 19 body creams seven body scrubs, 16 shower gels, and two body oils. So, so in total, I finished 128 products from Bath & Body Works, Victoria's Secret, and just my small miscellaneous mist and lotion. So, wish it would have been 130. Y'all know how I am. You know how I am. When I saw 49 mists, I was like, are you kidding me, Shawnice? You couldn't get it to 50? But yeah, y'all, so that was, that was 128 products that I used up in 2022. I'm filming this on the 28th and I am, I don't foresee myself finishing up anything else before then that fits this category. I triple check because I wanted to get this video filmed because I knew it was going to wear me out, which it has. Um, but I'm proud of myself. And now I remember last year I didn't use a hardly any shower gels. And now I'm at 16. It's still, I, I was like hoping for one a month. So that's good. I got over 12. So I'm good. I'm just glad. I just wish, you know, the creams, I wish could have been 20. And the mist, I wish could have been 50. But, and the totality, I wish it would have been 130 instead of 128. But I'm good. I'm proud of myself. You know, this is a lot. It was, it's a lot to try to be focused to use up this stuff and project use it ups and then other, you know, things I have on the side trying to keep up with my collection. It's fun, but it can get a little tiresome. But I wanted to just show you all just by sticking with a couple products, it builds, you know, and this is what you can use up. Now, make me think of Tisha. Why well, I don't see no dent in my collection? I use up 128 products. I'm like, where? Where? I don't, I don't see it. <laughs> because that's one of the downfalls of being a YouTuber. Or if you're just someone who's a product junkie, you're constantly bringing in stuff. So I'm go that's going to be one of my goals for 2023. I am not going to just bring in a ton of stuff. I want to be super selective, like I've been telling y'all. Because I want to, I'm glad I used up 128 products. I'm proud of myself. It's showing that I'm not wasting my products, my money, nothing. I'm utilizing these items. But I want to start seeing some dwindleization of thy collection. <laughs> so 
that's my goal for 2023 so if y'all enjoyed this long video please give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below y'all tell me how you think you did in using up your products for 2022 okay and please share this video with everyone who not only loves to buy these products honey but to use them up and please don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't ever miss any of my videos and as I always say, if you like my vibe, subscribe. Until next time, bye.